Hi, video for slide by Goo Goo Dolls. Um, so, interesting tuning. Um, we're going to do a slightly easier version of it. So, we're going to start in standard tuning, and then we're going to take the low E string and the D string, as I had done earlier. We're going to take that down to D. So, you got D, A, D, G, B, D. So, that's Basically, it's standard tuning, what you're usually in, but these two strings, your two E strings, are taken down to D also. They're D, as well as your D string. D, D, D. So that you got that. Um, in the actual uh, song, they do just that, but they also add, they take the B string up to... They take the B string up to D also. So if you want to be entirely accurate, you would also tune this B string to D. So you'd have D, 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 and your B string would be D as well. But we're trying to make this as simple as possible. So standard tuning and the two E strings go down to D. Okay. And then once you've done that, you put your capo on the first fret. Okay. And then we've got these, well, this way of playing it, these shapes. Um, we're going by the um, tab that you can find on, what is it, Songster. And even if you, so if you use this tuning or if you use the actual tuning where the B string goes up to D, uh, you can use these same shapes, okay, and the same picking patterns. So the first thing you got is, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're talking in terms of, um, when I say fret numbers, we're talking in terms of the capo. So when I say fret seven, it'll actually be fret eight, but I'm measuring it from the capo. So I've got this shape. Uh, first finger on fret five of the D string, third finger on fret seven of the A string. And I'm picking, sorry, so I've got A string, D string, top E string, G string. That's the first four notes. Now you can see that I'm not doing it all with the pick. Now you could do it all with pick, and it would be very good exercise for pick accuracy, <clears throat> skipping from string to string. But um. And if I did do it with pick, I think I'd go down, down, up, up. So down, down for the bass strings, the A and the D string, and up, up for the top E and the G string. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a hybrid technique of I'm going to do, I'm going to use my third finger for the top E string so that my pick is. Just having to deal with the A string, D string, and the G string. So I've got down stroke, down stroke, third finger picking the top E string, and then pick, plectrum picking the G string. And then the shape changes with the fretting hand. And here I'm going picking wise down, down, third finger, down on the G string, up on the D string. So far I've got now here actually I think I would pick down, down, third finger, up. Sometimes they do it with a down stroke on the G string. So it's really up to you. It's really what works for you because there isn't a wrong or right way. Okay, so so far I've got and you've got that figure with first finger on the fifth fret of the A string, I'm going to use my fourth finger, you could use your third finger, I'm going to use my fourth, the seventh fret of the D string, and then that comes off at the end of the bar so that you've got an open D string, so you've got, then you take that shape that you were doing down to the third fret, so you've got first finger on the third fret of the A string, little finger on the fifth fret of the D string. finger on the uh, low E string and again I'd be picking 
this hybrid uh, using this hybrid technique of pick on the down pick on the low E string, down pick on the G string, and then my third finger on top E, and then fourth fret of the low E string. So I'm going third finger, fretting hand, fifth fret, second finger, fourth fret of the low E string, and then I'm back to. So that was exactly the same as the first two bars, so that was the next two bars. Then we've got the chords. And <clears throat> they are as in the tab. I've got second finger, I'm playing it like this, second finger and third finger on the second fret of the E string, second fret of the A string. And I'm going to do that strumming pattern first. Down, down, up, up, down, down. Then I got this shape. Sorry. Down, down, up, up, down, down. And that's <clears throat> first finger, fifth fret, A string. Uh, I'm going to do my fourth finger. You could do your third finger. Fourth finger, seventh fret, the D string. And you can choose to strum all the strings. Or you can mute the low D string with your thumb. Just to get a less bass heavy chord. Then you take this shape down to the third fret, third fret, fifth fret. Now, when you, when you play this chord, um, the tab has got open low E string. That's not going to sound right. So there, do mute the low E string. So if you can't reach with your thumb, remember you can do it with the tip of the first finger. If the first finger is fretting the A string, but touching the low E string so that it's muting it. I tend to do it with my thumb coming over the, over the neck. So we've got that, and then we're back to the first chord shape. Okay, I'm going to leave that video there and go on with the rest of it in a second.